All right, welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there. For a special day today, we are playing four Game of Thrones themed decks today with episode, or well, season eight um, coming out today, episode one of season eight. So uh, these four decks that we have up here, this is what we're going to have. We're going to have Abzan Treasure to start with for the Bank of Bravos. Um, so we are just going to be trying to acquire as much treasure as we can in this league using Smothering Tithe as our main way to gain a lot of treasure. And once we have a lot of treasure, we have a couple ways to win. We have a Revel in Riches that also helps gain us more treasure. But then if we have 10 treasures, then we win the game. Or with Rampage of the Clans, where we can surprise our opponent um, by destroying all of our treasure um at their end step and making a bunch of centaurs and then uh, untapping and attacking our opponent with all these centaurs so we have our surprise win con here they'll never expect us to sacrifice our treasure for the throne for the iron throne um so that's our this is our first deck other decks we're gonna have we're gonna have orzhov aristocrats after this for house lannister we're gonna have grixis dragons that one's probably pretty self-explanatory. So we're going to play some dragons. And then we'll have mono black zombies uh, for the White Walkers. They're more like skeletons and zombies, but, you know, close enough. And so those are going to be our decks for today. Should be a whole lot of fun. Um, and then after stream tonight, I'll be watching episode one of season eight. But before that, let's uh, play some magic. So abs and treasures. Let's see how it does. See if we can get a lot of treasure. <laughs> Game of Thrones would be better if I had dinos. <laughs> yeah, this is this is a, a fun theme day today. It's always good to have some some different theme days. All right, Abzan treasure. We got our treasure sleeves. We got our treasure map, our smothering tithe. Great hand. Waldo with the sub. Already sixth sub of the day. We're just starting the stream off. We are a little late here. Uh, we were making the deck together. Um, that took a little, little while. But we are six subscribers now from the next sub battle countdown. So hopefully we can get that tonight. And then we'll, we'll have to do a poll then of what day to be doing our our sub battle stream zen streams 11 uh, keeping that hype going y'all get some hype votes in the channel for our subscribers here waldo and zen streams thank y'all so much This is going to be a little tough, to be honest. So should I start acquiring more treasures, or do I play this Dawn of Hope? This game's going to be pretty tough. Mono Red does not like our s slow acquisition of treasures. Their Blitz Blitzkrieg strategy is not good for us. Our deck is really, really slow, game one. I actually don't even think we have like a way to win this, to be honest. Sideboard, we got some stuff for this matchup, but honestly, game one, I don't think... I don't have like any kind of fast clock. So, yeah, don't don't think we really have any way to win this game. All right, might as well get that thing out of here. Jeez.
Paying the two, giving us a treasure. A lot of burn spells. Um, Alver, Alver Ateg with the Twitch Prime sub. Keeping the hype going. Thank you, Alver Ateg. Let's go with our Liras, all these duresses, an extra contempt, some Kayas, some Bell Haunts. So, you know, we basically bring in almost all of our, our whole sideboard here. So we're going to have to, unfortunately cut down on the good parts of the deck. We're going to have to cut down on our treasure stuff. And then Johnny Pot Pie gifting out gifting out five sub subscribers as well. Alright, next sub battle. All right, we're 149 away from the next one now, because we were, we had one extra one there. Thank you so much, Johnny Popeye. And if you're one of the new viewers getting that subscription, hope you all enjoy your emotes. I gotta cut, I think I gotta cut Kaya's Rats. I gotta cut some fours here. It's either, I guess, Karn. Okay. Yeah, we'll cut some Karns, actually. Actually, no, you come back. You go. Okay. All right, let's do, I'm gonna make a straw poll here. So we're gonna be doing another sub battle stream. So that's where I just take the entire stream day and play against subscribers. It's it's a whole lot of fun we did at that, that other time. Um, we've done it one time so far and people had a, a blast and we're gonna be doing that again. Um, so I'm gonna be basically making a question of what day would work for you for me to do this sub battle stream, so. So should we have it Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday? We'll do it one of the next three days. And it's just normal time, three to 10 Eastern. Oh should, I, oh, should I just do it someday next weekend? I could. I could if y'all don't mind waiting a, a week. We could do that. <laughs> now, there's no, there's no spoilers here. Lash. No, we're not... We're not discussing any Game of Thrones spoilers. Okay, we could just... It could just be that we just do it next... Next Saturday. Hmm. Forgot to put the upkeep oh, stop. Well, now I don't want it because Lyra. That's 
Okay. So, all right, so we'll just do it for next, so we're gonna have sub battle stream next Saturday. Why would you attack there? Ah. So we'll do that on Saturday and then Let's get this lantern back in. Something else to do on turn three. I don't really want these cards in. <clears throat> Okay, so we'll do the sub battle stream on, on Saturday, and then if we do hit one of these sponsor referral go goals, we can make it a 12 hour stream. Yeah, I think that Carnage Tyrant's probably better than a Karn. Honestly. We're just gonna have turn four Kaya's Wrath, wipe the board, and then play Dawnbringer. Yeah, then Friday set review. Perfect. So we are only the closest. The closest we are for a twelve-hour stream is going to be the uh, the Harrys. You know, we're only three people away there, and Harrys is also the cheapest thing to get. It's even. Yeah, you know, it's it's even. Uh, Deckmaster, let me get that up. It's even cheaper than subscribing. If you'd like to just help support the stream for less than subscribing, which is $5 a month, you can get yourself a new a new Razor over at Harry's. So how it works, as my opponent's killing me here, I hope they don't draw a burn spell for a couple turns. We're going to be at three after Spear Spewer here. I just don't have a three damage burn spell, please. We get to play Lyra next turn. Okay, well, I probably... Do I need to contempt that thing? I guess basically any... It's probably better to play Lyra than contempt. Yeah. Dang. Oh, we just needed them to, to brick for a turn. Oh well. We were close. We almost got the match. You know, we won game two. And I think that game three, if we were on the play, we would have won. But just being on the draw was just barely... We were just a turn too slow there. Uh, being on the draw. Oh, we are 0-1. I wrote 1-0. No. We are 0-1. <laughs> yeah, not much to do there. It's just do we get burned or do we not get burned? Not much not much play there. <laughs> anyway, with with Harry's uh head on over through my referral link that I put there in chat. You sign up for a starter set. Their starter set's usually thirteen dollars. Get the subscription, which takes five dollars off and makes it eight, and then also use the coupon code Todd Stevens MTG that takes another five dollars off and makes it only three dollars. 
So for just three dollars, get your starter set sent to you. Uh, please don't. Please make sure your ad blocker is not on for that site because then it will have a pop up come up here on screen um, that you signed up, and then we'll celebrate, get some hype votes in the chat, and then we will be closer to our next Harry's goal. We only need three people signing up there. All right, we're gonna have to hit some land drops here. Man, I can't, it's hard for me to even hear myself. It is raining really hard here. It's pounding against the house right now. Okay. Perfect. We drew land back to back. Got to get rid of their Donna Pope, and now our Karn can start finding a Smothering Tithe. So we want to find Smothering Tithe, so Smothering Tithe can start making a lot of treasures for this Revel and Riches. Hey, Alder 2. Hmm. What's this card? Treasure map? How convenient. An excellent choice. So I could I could destroy this divine visitation and make a three three, or I can just ignore it and just ki uh, Kaiser wrath away the creatures anyway. Hmm. We'll go with the rampage. <laughs> yeah, rampage is an instant. That's that's how we surprise kill people when we have a bunch of treasures. So we're gonna Kai's Wrath, those things away. This will aid us. And then I was gonna go grab the treasure map and play that. So I don't know exactly what we're really playing against. It's just kind of a another weird deck. Let's get these duresses in and less cast down. Cut the cast downs. Um And, uh, I don't know, cut a Contempt. Yeah, cut the Contempts. And... Uh, gotta play one of these. I'll play this Lyra. Lyra can hang out and do something. I don't know what Lyra's gonna do right now, but it'll do something. All right, good hand. compass I like that matter compass that's in my deck <laughs> so my opponent's definitely you know playing a uh, artifacts and enchantment matters deck and we're just playing rampage of the clans over here they're probably reading that card like what who plays this card
All right, so playing Karn next turn. Until you are you certain of your decision? Ooh, those are a couple good ones. All right, Smothering Tithe. That's what I'm talking about. Hmm. Right, I should probably get rid of this Resplendent Angel, and I think I'm going to with... The Golgari Queen. And then do I want to cast Duress? Or do I want to activate this treasure map? It's time to serve. I haven't forgotten how to destroy things. I don't want to just activate this treasure map. And help it flip. There you go. A little draw two. Build your own four mana draw two. Rude. Not okay, stop. Dang, victory. too late. Uh, I need that Kaya's Wrath back. So I, I could cast Rampage of the Clans. We both get three three threes. I don't really need to do that. The ends justify. Cleansing Nova. I guess that Cleansing Nova is going to be a little annoying. Maybe I should have taken the Cleansing Nova. Okay, well, the opponent picks it up. Realize their Cleansing Nova is probably not as good as the seven cards I have in hand. <laughs> and the Rascal Golgari Queen. And that our game was going to be taking a lot longer to finish. And they just picked it up right there. All right, we are one and one. Yeah, opponent's like, I'm done with this one. I'm going to go to the next one. One and one. Yeah, that looks really good. Vladimus! One forty eight. Thank you so much for that tier one sub there, Vladimus. You are amazing. Okay, new treasure, new matchup here for Abzan Treasures. All right, mono blue, this is probably bad for us.
All right, so no land drops. That's definitely good. No Curious Obsession, no land drops. I like the sleeves the opponent has, though. <laughs> you got four Seraph with the scales there. And what do you what do you do with the dragon sword over there? Oh, did you hostage take a dragon sword? Oh, okay, yeah. Could be another spell pierce. So they've they've already spell pierced once. I need the Kaya's Wrath to resolve. Let's go with the Karn. I Just be a little safer use. there. I'll make use of that later. In in your profile page, uh, damage, uh, like on the main on the main uh, page, there's a profile part, and in that part you can change your uh, icon. Kaya is one where you have to buy you have to buy the Orzov um, bundle to, to unlock Kaya as an avatar. Wow, gave me the contempt. Interesting. So getting Smothering Titan here so we can start getting treasures every single turn, because, you know, that's our deck, Abzan Treasures. But then also, like, getting more treasures means it'll be easy for us to double spell even with these expensive things, and that's that's what we want to do. We want to, like, play something that my opponent counters and then resolve Kaya's Wrath afterwards. That's the goal. Perfect. Opponent tapped out. Kai's Wrath time. I think I want to just get the treasure map also. Nothing is ever truly lost. Do we get more treasure? I'll keep stop. Yeah, I'll take another smothering tithe. Draw that. Good so we do want more land right now. Hey. There's some land. Good. Um, so, I'm just gonna pay some life. Play this Vraska. Vraska kill the Tempest Shin, make more treasure. I think it's different art treasure, though, isn't it? Okay, yeah, see, that's a different art treasure. And we're just gonna, just gonna keep hoarding this treasure until Revel Enriches wins the game for us. Your patience is rewarded. Rasta's treasure is more expensive. More treasures. 
More treasures. Less treasures. Double dive down. That's rude. All right, we'll just get all these treasures back. Well, we can definitely die. Let's get this upkeep stop in. So one, two, three, four, five. So it would cost three mana to pump that thing. Alright, I guess I should have ticked up Karn last turn. That's the one thing I, I regret is not taking up Karn last turn. Alright, that'll work. You may regret that choice. Evil must not be tolerated. Give me this cast down. What was lost is now returned. I can't have like another dive down, right? Then this is the this will turn into a maze of it also. I love this deck. We got all the treasure. Has anybody ever had so much treasure against Mono Blue? Has there ever been a game where Mono Blue aggro is sitting sitting there and the opponent's got eight treasure tokens in play? I was hoping they were going to counter that so I could resolve Revel and Riches. Are we actually going to win with Revel and Riches? Revel and Riches. Beginning of your upkeep, you control 10 or more treasures, you win the game. Yeah, they have to pay 4 not to, to not lose, but then I still have, have 9 treasures. Alright, that worked. That doesn't usually work. But they got stuck on lands, did not have Curious Obsession. We got to resolve Kaya's Wrath. And it was over after that. So I think we actually take out Revel and Riches, unfortunately, though, in this matchup. And uh, do I just cut Rampage of the Clans and Smothering Tithe also? Yeah, probably supposed to. Probably supposed to. Smothering Tithe was kind of good for us there, but it's only because the opponent had such a bad hand. I mean, Karn, Karn could have won that without the Smothering Tithe anyway. Okay.
<clears throat> no, Mookie Bear, we're, so we got to, the sub battle countdown reached to zero, so we decided to wait till Saturday. So Saturday, we will be doing our next sub battle uh, on Saturday, because we, our countdown went down to zero. We have our one basic forest, which is our one card that doesn't cast Kaya's Wrath. Yeah, Matthew, yeah, I hope you get in uh, this time. Had a couple other people that want to, that, you know, didn't get in last time that I really want to get in this time. We have, like, uh, like Johnny. Um, no, Makaya. Johnny Pop High, Streak Almighty. There's definitely two people I want back in there. Yeah, Yud, I don't think I faced Yud last time. They negated before. Let's try this again. A treasure deck for the treasure constructed event. <laughs> hmm. You're going to have to run out of counters here sometime soon, right? Maybe now they're out of counters? Why can't I cast Duress plus any of my spells here? Yeah, this forest is killing us. Okay. Hey, Alika. One, two, three, four, five. You gotta be like out in the gates, right? Ow. Pay for spell pierce now. Alright. Spell pierce and dive down were not good enough. They had to have another hard counter spell. No, don't have a trickster. Don't have a trickster. 
No, Trickster. No. No. Ow. All right, at least not a Curious Obsession. Ugh. Back to five cards. That was a really, really good draw. That was our, our best draw, probably. Basically, I want to play around dive down here, but of course they could have another trickster. But I think it's kind of likely they have dive. I think it's I think dive down is the most likely card that they have out of like the things that kill us here. Bleh. Yeah, dive down or spell pierce. All right, going to game three. They had so many negates there. They had so many negates. <clears throat> so we got our, like, turn three, turn four, turn five, turn six, turn seven. All of those, we got our card hard countered every one of those turns. It's so like turn eight, we resolved the Kaiser Wrath. So the problem with Curious Obsession. If it wasn't for Curious Obsession, they wouldn't be able to keep drawing all those counters. But we're on the play now. Ooh, love it. Just want to draw an untapped land here. Man, if we can just play these Kayas on, on curve. So we want to draw any shock land. Or, I mean, I'll take any basic. I'll take basic forest here. So any shock land or basic. That's what we'll take. So if y'all notice, we got some fun streams on Saturday, on Friday, Saturday here. We'll be doing our War of the Spark uh, set review on Friday, doing our next sub battle on Saturday where I play against subscribers all day. That'll be a lot of fun. Also, I have started updating the Discord channel. If you're not if you're not a member of our Discord channel, feel free to join. It's, it's you know, for everybody right there. Basically, it is a um, channel where you can join in and talk MTG. Hmm. So it's, you know, free for everybody to, to go ahead and... Join in the Discord channel there. If you want to talk about like what decks are playing at FNM, or maybe what are you playing on Arena, talk War of the Spark cards, all that kind of stuff. If you need some help with any of your decks, want to ask other people in the community for some help. The link's also, you know, you can do exclamation point discord to ever find it, or the link is also down below in the info panel. Please don't have another spell pierce. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna make you suffer. Gonna get rid of the curious obsession. So that's just gone. So they don't get to keep drawing more cards. Because it's... So thinking my opponent had dive down. If you are watching this video on YouTube and you want to join the Discord channel, my Discord link is in the description um, in the YouTube videos as well. 
So yeah, if you got deck ideas for like War of the Spark decks that you want to try out. Uh, another obsession. Well done. Look to see me no more. I guess I should have just played Kaya's Wrath last turn anyway, instead of Kaya. Yeah, I should have just played this last turn anyway. Oh, you have Spell Pierce now? Ugh. Bleh. I don't think our matchup's awful. We were very, very close to winning game two. Oh, we are pretty close to winning game two. We won game one. Our opponents had a really good hand of having double spell pierce, which has been really important. You know, like if they didn't have those spell pierces, because they, they couldn't have had like negates or anything, you know, couldn't have had two mana counter spells. They had to have the spell pierces. Yeah, our opponent's done a really good job of drawing, like, the one creature and then all the protection for the one creature. Really good hand. One of the, you know, it's a lot better whenever they draw, you know, three or four, something like that creatures. But not the two Curious Obsession kind of thing. Yeah, when their deck does this kind of stuff, their deck is very good. So it was a really good hand for them. Don't, don't refer to Dex as cancer. Please don't do that. Okay, so we got one win with our Abzan treasure deck. And, you know, we, we the deck that we beat was not a very good deck. The two decks we lost to were Mono Red and Mono Blue. And, of course, Mono Red and Mono Blue are going to be decks that are probably, you know, like those are going to be decks that are going to give us problems whenever, whenever Mono Blue and Mono Red have their really good hands. And, you know, like, they have their top 25% hands where their deck is is hitting on all cylinders and they have all their, like, cheap spells and interaction and and threats and stuff like that. Those decks are hard to beat when they're doing that kind of stuff. And our Abzan Treasure deck here is not really going to be the deck that beats them, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, however, I did like our list here. I liked it a lot better than the last one that we had previously. I think that we made good changes here to the deck uh you know which we played against some more mid-range decks unfortunately we didn't uh you know we just ran into two aggro decks that had really good hands and everything um but i like what we kind of have going on i liked those kayas in the sideboard it's unfortunate that our, our opponent kind of had everything for it especially just that second curious obsession because we exiled the first one and if they don't have the second one, they don't get to keep drawing cards. But they had the second one. And then they got to keep drawing cards, and they kept drawing more counter spells and everything. Um, so, run it back again. Um, I think, well, we got we got three other decks to get to today. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and move on to another deck. But I wouldn't mind playing this deck again here in the future. It was a fun deck to play. It was it was a fun deck to play there. 
uh, we had some some games, you know, we got to run away with it and everything, and it was pretty fun. Um, okay, so there we go. That's Abzan Treasure. Uh, but yeah, so that's our first deck of our Game of Thrones themes deck today. Uh, we got our Iron Bank deck here uh, with the Treasure deck. Then we're going to have, as you can see, we got three more decks here. We got Orzhov Aristocrats, uh, Grixis Dragons, and Mono Black Zombies. So those are our, our other decks that are kind of Game of Thrones themed, even though like they're going to be regular decks, but we're just kind of picking decks on theme. So, all right. Uh, if you are watching this video later on YouTube, thanks for watching, and I will see you for the next one.